What up, Puzzle Peeps? Are you happy Thursday? And welcome back to my channel. It's that time of the week that I do a spooky Thursday story. The, uh, wow, aren't I beautiful? Anyway, this one has been been, been around for a while. It's called, it's about a local magazine. It's called uh, Market Monthly. It's located obviously in Market on Third Street and it's been a staple in the community for a while. Um it's one of the few pardon us, it's one of the few publications that cover everything in the county from entertainment events to local arts and culture, all that fun stuff. Uh Market Monthly making issues date back to nineteen ninety nine. But the building where the mag where the magazine is currently is built in about 1930, so you gotta figure out how old she is. Uh, and it was originally a two-story house. So going from a two-story house to a uh, let's see here publication was well, easy in the in the building that they own was I forgot to mention this was bought in nineteen ninety and then transition all that fun thing. Um it was also discovered that on the top floor that there was a of the house once operated as a small printing office that produced time cards and delivery notes, all that stuff. For the you know, the local trains, train stations in the area. Uh, stories, there have been a lot of stories to the state. One story is about the first print press worker, Beth Ann, who left upstairs and worked the print office when the building was first built. Let's see here. With, you know, your regular daily routine, she was loading the large metal printing machine press with ink, changing out the machine's characters and fonts, and handling also print deliveries, um, um, you know, off stuff, unclogging paper jams was a very common occurrence, apparently, as well as a dangerous job. Beth had ex has used, excuse me, Beth Ann had used extreme caution caution I can't talk caution when from the machines sharp edges and moving parts but one day just before the first train was to roll in to the depot Beth Ann's shirt got caught in printing press hard stock feeder and the machine slowly began to inch her arm closer and closer in to in the letter press being the only person in it, being the only person there there's no one to hear but like oh, oh. um no one heard her her screams went unnoticed that night her husband came home from work to find his wife sadly lying on the floor uh Next to the printing press are missing, covered in their own blood. Ooh. Workers at Marquette Monthly have reported screams coming from the top floor. The top floor of the building late at night. It seems as a ghost of that band still lives. The trace will be right there. Finley! Anyway, yeah, that's pretty spooky. And I'm sorry it was kind of a cluster. And jumping up and down but anyway you guys get the idea and I'm sorry about my voice I was having issues um so here if you like these type of videos give this video a thumbs up help me know what's you like these type of videos or you know type of things or if you have your own paranormal stories feel free to hit me up in the comment box below or on all my social medias always listen below and I will have the article posted so you guys can check it out and see what you think 
And thank you for hanging out with me and the grumpy Pokemon over there who went by the door. Um. Oh, my God. Anyway. Um. What else? Oh, and just because. Just remember. Just because October's over does not mean the spooky isn't. Take care, guys. Till next time. Bye.